Lewis and I are out again for day three of scalloping and I have my suit on today <laughs> because um, you know I'm gonna try it out let's see how we do for day three all right a lot of boats out again I got my gear on I'm about to jump in there's Lewis let's go moving spots
guys, I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. So right now I am actually back home in South Florida in my kitchen and I'm ready to cook some scallops for you. It's so fast. They're, you know, they're little tiny pieces of meat. This is one, you know, and that's actually a pretty good size one. So they're very delicate, very tender, small. It does not take long to cook them at all. And, oh. They're like the best things ever. So the key is to not overcook them. So that's why it's fast because you're really just swishing them around, waiting for them to turn white. They're, you know, as you can see, they got a little bit of a, they look white now, but when they're cooked, they get a little bit more, not so translucent looking. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like when you cook fish. You do not want to leave them in the fridge for too long. They do freeze really well though. So. If you don't plan on eating them for a few days, definitely freeze them, you will save them. I have defrosted them. I'm just patting them dry, making sure they're all dry for the most part because they will get a little bit of a juice. Also, I think it's better to cook them when they're room temperature, um, just like a lot of other, when you cook a lot of other meat. I've had them sitting out here on the counter. I made a salad. I got a salad chopped up with some butter lettuce, arugula, Carrot, apple, avocado, red onion, and microgreens. And I've got some fresh squeezed lemon juice, my garlic pepper, and then almost out of my Kerrygold butter. Probably gonna use the rest of this. So about a good, you know, however much butter you want. There's no rules to butter. I'm gonna preheat my pan. And I have an always pan, an hour place always pan. I don't know if you're familiar, but you really don't need to cook with this pan on a super high heat. It conducts the heat really well because of the material it's made of. So I really only put it on like a medium heat. I get the butter, put the butter in there, let it melt. So Lewis and I left, um, we got our limit of scallops. We left it on the jet ski and uh, put it on the trailer, cleaned it up iced everything down, packed up our stuff, and we headed back to my house. So we had a lot of stuff to do. I didn't get to vlog or film any of it because we're just always like going, going, going when we're doing that kind of thing. We actually didn't have any time to even clean our limit of scallops on the third day. We just uh, packed a cooler full of ice, put them on the ice, and drove back to my house, five, a five hour drive back to my house with scallops in the cooler in the back. So. We brought them all to my parents' house. They live on the water there, so we had a place to dump the shells and the meat, the guts and everything. So we sat at their house for a good solid two hours at least and cleaned our scallops because they take a long time. I even um, put all these shells, not all of them, most of them, in a, a bucket of half water, half bleach because I wanted to clean them to keep them for maybe I would make a picture frame or a mirror or something with the, sh with the shells. I have them all, I'll show you. I've got all of my beautiful orange ones. See, there's not very many orange ones, but I saved them all and I put them out here with all the rest of my, my little treasure collection over here. This scallop I thought was really cool. It had all these barnacles on it. I love barnacles, I love them. So these are just the orange ones right here. And then if you go into this room, which is a mess, an absolute mess. Let's see, where are they? I've got more shells here, more here, more there. And then this entire basket is loaded with clean scallop shells. I love them. Look how gorgeous. Get a nice big one. Oh, wow, that's a big one. I think Lewis measured this one. It was three inches. It's a nice one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them, but um, I will keep you posted. I do like, you know, obviously to collect shells. So of course I had to keep me a couple of my hand picked scallops and my pan is feeling nice and hot. I've got all these little scallops ready to go. Scallops are actually really healthy. They're really clean, very high in protein. I'm very impressed with the nutrition facts I've found on bay scallops. So let's get them in there. They're gonna sizzle a little bit. Jeez. So I'm gonna just crack my seasoning on top. I don't do a whole lot. And, oh, jeez, rushing. 
Now I'm gonna start swishing them around. Just kind of like how you would, uh, how, how I like to scramble eggs. You can see already some of them are turning white. It happens very quickly. And it's better, in my opinion, to take them off early than to take them off too late. So you will kind of see, let them sit a little bit. You will kind of see the texture and like the, the elasticity change. Like the, they won't be as squishy. They'll be a little bit more rubbery, I feel like, if that's the right word to use. You'll be able to tell a difference in their, the bounciness of them. Once they're a little bit more bouncy, they're ready. They're about done. It's very fast. And I probably did a little bit too much butter, but that is okay. Fine with me. Let's see, there are, some of them are starting to jiggle a little bit. And they look about done. I hope you can see, but you can really see how fast this is. I... Okay, they're done. I'm gonna take them off the heat. You can see how the color is. They're like, when you do take them off the heat, they are still cooking. So better to take them off sooner than later. So you can see if this will focus. It's not gonna focus. <gasps> mm. Mm. Oh my God, I could eat these every day. There they are, done. Here's my salad. I'm gonna put the, pour the lemon juice in the salad and dump the scallops on top. Oh my God. And then I always measure out my dressing, which I don't have any fancy dressing just for the scallops either. I just kind of use what I've been using lately, this ranch by Primal Kitchen. Since we had so much juice also from the scallops and the lemon, I only do about half a serving of dressing. So that's about 15 milliliters. Making a mess. Mm. 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 It's amazing.